Welcome to my studio and today I would like to talk to you a little bit more about Quanta which is a great granular synthesizer for iOS specifically I'm gonna show it to you on the iPad today so let's dig right in as you know granular synthesis basically allows me to chop in small grains any type of complex uh, waveform so I can import my own samples and then from there uh, re reorganize and rearrange those um, those grains in clouds based on certain algorithms and so that's going to create some really interesting sonorities some really interesting pads some rhythmic situations that you can use in a bunch of um, tracks or soundtracks uh, you know you, you hear them a lot in sci-fi movies and so on um, simply because of the nature of the sound that is evolving is ever changing and is very very interesting I love granular synthesis um, so let's let's look at quanta and when I launch it uh, the main screen is actually fairly simple and that's another thing that I really like about quanta is that it's a simple interface but very powerful and so looking at the interface here I can see on the top uh, area of the screen uh, now it says no audio file I basically am starting from scratch is a is a you know I have no sounds loaded and the, the the lower part allows me to change the parameters of uh, of the sound so the first thing I need to do is to import a new waveform of course I can also look at the so some of the presets that are excellent so if I tap on uh, the um, uh, preset uh, area at the top of the screen I can navigate to the factory presets and I can uh, preview some of the excellent presets that uh, Quanta comes with uh, so I can look at some of the pads you can really hear the the nature of the granular synthesis here that kind of glitchy type of um, sound which uh, I really like but of course we want to create our own sounds our own patches right so to do so uh, I need to first initialize my uh, my main patch so that everything is reset so I simply go to my preset again and I'm gonna just tap the fault and now all the parameters are uh, reset so I'm simply gonna tap back on preset so I I, I, I make sure that the presets are, are gone and now I can concentrate on uh, designing my own sound so the first thing that we need to do is to load a complex waveform into Quanta now you can import pretty much any stereo audio files that you want uh, in this case I'm importing something that I just created in GarageBand on the iPad just you know very quickly and so to do so I'm gonna just tap on the uh, floppy disk icon here I'm going to start browsing to my um, uh, sound that I have uh, on my iPad and I'm going to use the Quanta export that I did uh, in GarageBand uh, previously you can import really any sound any complex mix or any just simple instrument or any waveform that you want if I want to preview the waveform so I want to make sure that is the one that I want to work with I simply tap on the small play button right here And so this is the original sound that I wanted to work with um, and uh, if I want to get rid of this sound I simply tap the, the, the cross right here and if I want to load a second one a different one I just tap on the floppy disk icon again so now I have the main uh, sound uh, that I'm gonna work uh, with inside Quanta now the idea again is to be able to chop this complex waveform into uh, slices and tiny grains that are going to be combined into clouds uh, according to certain parameters and algorithms that I can choose if we look at the structure of quanta I can actually see there are three main oscillators the first one is this one uh, the main oscillator on the left and this is uh, actually fairly complex it allows me to uh, change the the shape and modulate the, 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 the shape right basically from sine wave all the way to um, sawtooth with anything in between including a square wave and I can uh, retune it right here if I want to reset the parameter I simply double tap on it 
Uh, I can change the, the, the size of the pulse. I can change the fine tuning. And of course, I can change the level of that oscillator. So at the moment, uh, if I press um, uh, a key on the keyboard, I'm going to hear a combination of the basic oscillator plus my um, uh, complex waveform that I uploaded. The complex waveform is, is way stronger in volume at the moment, so that's why I'm hearing it uh, mostly um, in, in the foreground. Now, of course, at the moment, I don't want to deal with this oscillator. What I really want to do is to use my own main waveform. So, um, the other thing that I, I, I want to do is to look at the second oscillator, which is the noise oscillator. Again, this is an extra oscillator that I can bring up in level. And where I have a color change to that I can that I can uh, work with. The complex waveform is, is way stronger in volume at the moment, so that's why I'm hearing it uh, mostly um, in, in the foreground. Now, of course, at the moment, I don't want to deal with this oscillator. What I really want to do is to use my own main waveform. So, um, the other thing that I, I, I want to do is to look at the second oscillator, which is the noise oscillator. Again, this is an extra oscillator that I can bring up in level. And where I have a color change to that I can, that I can uh, work with. 